It's just one of the steps the Navy has taken to make sure it can train its new recruits safely. The white circles on the floor are a new addition to ensure social distancing. There have been other adaptions, such as staggered meal times and smaller class sizes, but ensuring strict two-metre distancing is carried out is a constant process. My class, which are day two, week one, so they've literally just joined and we're having to keep them at the two-metre distance while they're working with the civvies in the stores, getting all their kit and all that as well. So it all following that and we've got to keep on reminding them that and reminding everyone else of that at the same time. These are just some of the practical changes, but even before the Navy recruits step on base, they have to self-isolate at home for 14 days before they arrive, which has proved challenging for some. You're just kind of stuck at home, just not doing anything. Because I had to stop working as well. And I loved doing my job and I was hoping to work up until like the week before I went. So I've kind of missed working in the last two weeks as well. On average, around 60 new recruits come to HMS Rally every week. If that process were to just stop, there could be a shortage in frontline personnel and an operational pinch point in years to come. The reality is, is that the, the emergency that the country is facing now will hopefully pass. But that doesn't mean there won't be emergencies elsewhere in the, in the world or in our country in a year or two or three years' time, which the Navy needs to be configured and, and ready to be able to meet. So that ultimately, we can't afford to stop, because if we stop now, in a year's time when the country needs us to do something else, um, then we need to be ready for that. And the discipline at the moment has been, has been something that we've been quite strong to, to emphasise to our people. The dis discipline of washing your hands, the discipline of staying at two metres, it's absolutely critical. There are some elements of our training that we can't do that. Uh, and for those, we've introduced various risk assessments. Uh, and also last week, the Navy brought its own environmental health team to come and check what we're doing, making sure we're safe, comparing that with other establishments. And very helpfully, they, they formed the view that everything we were doing here was positive. The challenge for us now is to make sure we're not complacent. Although the Armed Forces is due to reduce the number of personnel providing support during the pandemic, training new recruits at HMS Rally means they can be ready to respond if the situation changes. Not only that, for many, joining the Navy is a huge achievement and there is much relief a start date wasn't postponed. I've literally been waiting for like, like two years like just for this and so just like have to wait longer, like, like that would have hated that. It, like, my process took so long so I had to like go through like medical appeals and all of that so and then had to have it like delayed because of this I would not have been happy. I would have been horrid because I didn't really enjoy the job I was in prior and um, it was just something to hold the place in the house and then uh, yeah it would have been a little bit difficult but I would have got through it. Among those finishing their training are medical personnel, chefs and engineers. It's been a slightly unusual start to their Navy journey, but one they didn't want to miss. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.